The Breakfast Club, one of the most iconic high school movies of the 80s. Like most John Hughes films, it was shot right here in North Chicago, Illinois. But what makes this film unique is its use of one central location, the high school. Shermer High is referenced in several John Hughes films, but it is The Breakfast Club that truly makes it iconic. Behind me is Glenbrook North High School. This is the high school John Hughes actually went to. And although he never outright confirmed that Shermer High School was based entirely on his experiences here, I couldn't help but notice that the school is on Shermer Road. Pretty cool, right? Oh, and this high school, the one that John Hughes went to, was used as the exterior shot of the school in Ferris Bueller's Day Off. You might recognize those stairs right there. Kids today, they're coming down the stairs that Sloan was coming down in the movie. And they might not even know it. That was pretty cool to see, but uh, let's not hang around an actual functioning high school anymore. Let's head to the location of the Breakfast Club High School, which has not been a high school for a very long time. The high school actually used in the film is this place right here. With traffic, we are racing the sun setting, but we made it with daylight to spare, at least a little bit. Here it is, Shermer High School, as seen in The Breakfast Club. Wow, it's so cool to see it. This was Main North High School at the time. It had recently closed, so it made it a perfect place to film since it was an actual high school. It is now the Illinois State Police Department, I believe, and also the lottery. It looks pretty much the same. The only main difference is... Would have said Shermer High School right there. In the beginning of the film, they're all seen getting dropped off by their parents, well, most of them. <laughs> Going to their Saturday school. We get a better view of the stairs and the entrance when they're actually coming out of the building at the end of the movie. The stairs are definitely the same stairs. The light fixtures look like they've been painted. The handrails are different, but overall, same vibe. I don't think the inside entrance area looks at all the same. I just went up and down the stairs of the Breakfast Club High School. So cool. Just that, like, those stairs, just the whole look of this building is just such an iconic look. So neat. That was amazing. You can see a door inside right there that looks like a high school door. Looks like it did in the movie. Now, I do believe that um, most of the hallways and stuff, you can still see parts of them inside if you, you know, work for the state of Illinois or something. But the actual library in the film was a set that they built in the gym. So um, it, it's not a place you can currently visit even if you did have access to the inside of that building. So I'm just happy you got to see the outside of it. So cool. Right out this way is where Molly Ringwald gave Judd Nelson the earring and a kiss. The apartments in the background look exactly the same. They're even the same color. The sun may be setting, but hopefully we still have some time to see a little bit more. We think that this is the football field, but we're trying to figure out how we get over to that side. This is a very confusing neighborhood, but we think that this is where the fist pump happened. So there's the back of the school. The fist pump is out here somewhere, <laughs> we think. Carly, don't roll in poop. Don't do it. Don't do it, man. This is about where it would have been. Right in here, the bleachers would have been right there. He would have been walking this way. You know what's so funny? That we just only noticed on our last watch? Never noticed this before. That fist pump is across the goal line. Yeah, How did... It's him going 
into the end zone and we didn't notice we that never before. never noticed that i mean it's been years since i've seen the movie but yeah never noticed that did you know that because i feel silly that i never noticed that but maybe i'm not alone did you did you know that when he does that it's because he's crossing the goal line of the football field but you can see the post in the shot because i just learned that jeremy give us a fist pump <laughs> 